the first thing you need to do is go to olama.com click on download your OS should be automatically selected mine is Mac OS so it says download for Mac OS if if you find it to be wrong pick the correct OS and click download once you download it install it on your machine the next step would be to go to models uh, for coding I found uh, Llama 3.2 to be 3.2 to be good Quen is really good and fast so I'll go to Quen so the first step was installing Olama. Now you need to pull in models. So these are offered by different companies. So this is by Meta, this is by Google, this is by Alibaba. So the model that I'm going to use is Quen 2.5. Click on this. There are, you, you'll see a drop down with multiple numbers. So what this is pretty much uh, the lower the size, the better, the, the faster the uh, AI will be but the accuracy is less uh you can if you if your machine doesn't support higher or like uh, bigger models i would suggest like start off with smaller ones see how the accuracy is then you can one by one you can uh, you can go to a higher one so i use 7b uh, it's a good balance between uh, speed and accuracy of the code 14b is probably more accurate but it's a uh, little slower so yeah i'm going with 7b if you change it to 14b you, you can see the code will change here i'm just going with 7b copy the code uh, get into terminal so once in terminal just paste it if you see up here i don't have meta olama running so i already have installed this one but let's see what happens when i hit this one so yes you can see that olama started pulling in manifest so let's wait for this to complete. Since mine is already done, it's it's not really downloading anything. So if you see this prompt, you are mostly good. Can you help me code? Yes, of course. So yeah, you 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 see all of this, so that's fine. Now go back to VS Code, click on continue, click on install. Once you install this, uh, you should see this icon on the right. Click on this. You will automatically see uh, Quen 2.5 is detected. It's one of the installed models. So I have multiple other models. You can always switch from here. So just to begin with, let's see what this has to offer. Can you add two numbers in JavaScript? All right. So yeah, all of this is working offline on your computer. You do not need an internet connection. You do not need a subscription. So yes, this is working fine. Now, uh, so if you have a new file, let's say game.htm, whatever, um, go back in here, you can add it at the cursor. This is working fine. Uh, okay, so let me actually create a nice little program for this. Uh, okay, so when I deleted, it says the mod model star coder to be was not found. Okay, so Let's see what's happening there. So on the right side chat, this one is fine, but if you click on settings, um, this is an auto detect model. So you have all the slash commands. Uh, don't worry too much about it. Come all the way down. If you see tab complete model, it says star coder 3B. Now, if I go to my terminal and open a new tab and say Olama list, I do not have star coder 3B, right? Now, what I need to do is whatever model you're using, copy that name. Just put this one here. Um, provider is probably Olama. Let's see. Can I find something here? Provider. Nope. Okay. Anyways, I'll just call this Quinn 2.5. Uh, this could be anything. Like, this has to be very accurate. Uh, this could be anything. Let's say this one all right so configuration has been updated now let me go here let's say command i uh, okay the model is this enter a prompt create a simple html page let's go yep you see that this is working all right and if i go to see you do you see this autocomplete happening 
that is coming from Quen 2.5, which is this specific part here, right? Now, um, the class equals to class container order game. Let me do something for that one. Uh, okay, so you see all this autocomplete happening. Okay, so let's let's do a simple. Um, how do I code a simple gallery? Okay. Yeah. So so see how fast this is. It's all happening locally on your machine, and that's good. So let's wait for this one to complete. Uh, and it's giving the explanation as well. Right. So let me delete all of this and place it in the cursor here. Yeah. So the anti code copies flow from there to here. Now, how do I see this one? Review and finder. Yeah. Game.html. I'm just gonna drag and drop into the yeah so i do not have the images here but yeah anyways the idea is you can proceed further from here and that's how you install it. if you want to change the models you can you can select from the drop down here 3.2 llama latest let's see give me code for a simple html gallery right so some of the models will have since they have been trained on different data sets, uh, their outputs could be much different as well. Hmm. Okay, so this is giving, seems like it's giving a bit more of JavaScript. So let's see. Delete all of that. Push this one in here. And let's, let me go here. Refresh, yeah. So some changes are there. So you can pick and choose between whatever uh, model you want here, uh, and then go to config.json uh, if you want to change the models. So since now I'm on uh, Llama 3.2, I'm just going to copy this one. And this name can be anything Llama 3.2 but this model name has to be super specific. You have to get it from here. Uh, let's see Let's see if I put Llama 3.2 on latest, right? Now what, what happens? So let's say I wanna add something here. See, this is not fun. Now I need to remove that one here, remove the typo. Now what do I do? Come back here. See, I get the autocomplete. So it's very important that you have this autocomplete and the model name is right. But yeah, pretty much you you have a ton of models here uh, in at, at Olama. So feel free to use them all and figure out which one works for you, which one helps you. So yeah, zero dollars, completely local and really fast. Thank you.